Hi, my name is Dr. Nolutando Nematsferani. I'm Discovery Health Clinical Specialist. Today, I would like to talk to you about HIV and AIDS. To begin with, I'd like to talk about how one can contract HIV. There are various ways in which people can contract HIV. The first being, especially common in South Africa, sexual intercourse. This is either heterosexual sex or homosexual sex. So it is important for people to be aware that if you have unprotected sex, you can contract HIV. The second way that people can contract HIV is through mother-to-child transmission. If you've got a mother who is HIV infected and they are pregnant and they do not access treatment and care, they can actually give birth to a baby who is infected with HIV. The third way in which people can actually get infected with HIV is through contact with HIV infected blood. But I think in South Africa it's important to highlight that sexual contact is the commonest way in which people can actually contract HIV. It is time now for us to discuss how we can prevent this transmission. There are ways in which people can actually have safe sex practices. This includes the use of condoms. There are various condoms available including those for males and those for females but these need to be used correctly. So the correct use of both the male and the female condom can actually make sure that people can prevent the transmission of HIV. It is important for everyone to ensure that they wear protective gloves and they protect themselves all the time when they come into contact with blood or bodily fluids that could be infected with HIV. In this day and age, HIV is no longer a death sentence. There are so many ways in which people can ensure that they live healthy and productive lives. This starts by just knowing your status, meaning going for a test, which entails counseling, the actual test, and post-test counseling. For someone who tests negative, it is important to ensure that they stay negative. And it is also important to understand what that negative test means. If you were exposed to HIV in the past day or so, be aware that it will not be picked up in that current test. So it is important for you to go for a repeat test. For a person who tests positive, especially for a person who would have tested in the workplace environment, this test will always require confirmation. You need to ensure that there are two test results that show that you are HIV positive. Once this has been done, then we need to get into a stage of understanding how far gone the disease is in your system. So the first thing that we will do is to do a CD4 count. The CD4 count is a measure of your immune strength. And the second test that will be done is a viral load, which measures the amount of circulating virus in your body. These tests are important because they will guide the clinician as to whether they need to start you on treatment or not. If a CD4 count is below 350, you will definitely qualify for medication. For someone with a CD4 count that is still above 350, this person can then just continue to monitor their condition and eat healthily, exercise, and live a healthy lifestyle that will allow them to live longer without actually requiring medication. Now going to our second uh, form of transmission, which is mother to child. It is important for every pregnant lady in South Africa to be tested for HIV because it is only once you have known your status that you can be able to act. For a mother who is HIV positive, it is important for us to assess whether their immune system is at a level where they require treatment for own self or we need to then give them treatment because they are pregnant and they are carrying the baby so that we can prevent transmission from the mother to the child. This is tested using what we call the CD4 count. The CD4 count is the measure of the immune strength of the mother. If the CD4 count is below 350, it means the mother would have qualified for treatment. So in those instances, the mother is getting treatment to treat themselves while also protecting their unborn baby from contra contracting HIV. In the second instance, you find that the mother has got a CD4 count that is above 350 and therefore they would not have qualified for treating HIV for themselves. But in those instances, we will give them treatment purely for the prevention of mother to child transmission, meaning that we are giving the treatment purely to protect the unborn baby from getting HIV infected. After the mother has delivered, there is also that period of breastfeeding, which also carries a risk to the baby to contract HIV. According to guidelines, mothers should be breastfeeding exclusively for a period of six months. By exclusive breastfeeding, we mean 
the baby will only be receiving breast milk, no water, no formula, and nothing else. A person who has tested HIV positive needs to ensure that they adhere to their doctor visits, they do their regular monitoring tests, they avoid stress in their lives, and remember to exercise and adhere to a well-balanced diet. Antiretrovirals will assist in managing the multiplication of the virus in your body. By doing so, it will allow the immune system to recover and therefore you can feel healthy again. Antiretrovirals save lives, but remember, it is a lifelong commitment. It is important to always make sure that you take them according to the way the doctor has prescribed them. And if there are any issues, please consult your doctor so that you can discuss means and ways of making it work for you. Stigma and discrimination are still the main reasons why people do not come forward to be tested and access treatment. Remember, an HIV positive person still requires to be treated with respect and dignity. Currently, South Africa has got the largest number of people living with HIV in the whole world. But having said that, it is important to note that we also have the biggest HIV program in the whole world. This means that people have got access to treatment and care, which is why it is in your hands to ensure that we prevent new infections. So an HIV-free generation begins with you.